Rated T for Teen. Welcome to the Anthem gameplay series. In this first video, we'll take a look at story, progression, and customization. The world of Anthem is a chaotic and ever-changing world abandoned by the Shaper Gods. Humanity survives either in fortified cities or with the use of Javelin exosuits. Javelins are key to your survival by giving you superhuman abilities. Fly, swim, fight, and explore anywhere within the world. That's where you and your friends come in. Part explorer, protector, and adventurer. You are an elite group of pilots called freelancers that are sworn to protect humanity and uncover the mysteries of the world. In the world, the dangers all stem from one mysterious power. The anthem of creation is everything. To control it is everything. Uh, okay, but what could he even do with it? What could he do with the power of life and death, creation and destruction? He would be a god. Imagine all the good that we could do. We decide what's best for the world. The power of pure creation at our fingertips. Your story begins in the middle of this conflict. It will be up to you to head out on missions, silence Shaper ruins, confront enemy factions, and most importantly, ensure that the Dominion do not get their hands on the Anthem of Creation. Before you head out on these missions, you need to prepare your Javelin. Unlock four base Javelin suits and then build any number of loadouts to customize them for different playstyles. The Interceptor is built for speed, lightning fast and incredibly agile to get in and out of harm's way. The Ranger is built for precision, highly versatile and ready to unleash firepower. The Colossus is built to deal destruction. What it lacks in agility, it makes up for in brute strength and defensive combat power. The Storm is built for extraordinary elemental attacks, devastating power and light armor. No matter which javelin you choose, your loadout can be customized and augmented to match your gameplay style. Your javelin ability has everything to do with the gear you use. Your gear score is the indication of how powerful your javelin is. Each javelin has the following slots. Two for offensive gear, one for support gear, two weapons, six components, and one ultimate power that is unique to each javelin type. In this case, we have four loadouts ready to go for the Ranger. Each one I've set up for different play styles. Let's have a look at my team support specialist. We are using the Venom Darts and a Frost Grenade for offensive gear. This will be great for applying ice and acid status and for setting up combos. For support gear, we are using the Bulwark Point, which places a spherical shield in the battle. For weapons, we have a Hammerhead Assault Rifle and the semi-auto sniper rifle. One will give medium range damage, while the other allows for fantastic long range damage. For my six components, I have a selection of items that will help keep my weapons at maximum performance. Before you head out, you have a choice on a number of objectives and ways to play. Continue your critical story mission, pick up quests from people in the fort, including your crew, enter one of the formidable strongholds or explore the open world in free play. Let's start by checking in with Halleck and continue with one of our story missions. She's us in the Dominion now. Good. This is a freelancer job. Always has been. Ready, Javelin One? Ready when you are. We've got your back. You go there and you kick some ass. In this first fight, we are going up against the Dominion Fury. The Fury. The Dominion are playing games. Be careful. The Fury hits incredibly hard and will regenerate itself. It will be important to keep moving and use cover or the bulwark point. Two things to remember, protect yourself and time your attacks to do maximum damage in bursts. The storm is set up for maximum damage using elemental attacks like lightning strike and flaming orb. Its quickening field will reduce cooldowns within its perimeter allowing everyone to use their offensive powers more often. Timing your ultimate attacks with your team will ensure enemies like the Fury won't have a chance to regenerate. There, you got them. You survived the Fury. 
You best head back to the fort. I'll let Tassa know we need to talk. At the end of each mission, head back to the fort. Collect your loot, customize your javelin, pick a new suit, and head out for more. This time, let's enter free play. In free play, the map is open to you to explore the way you want, head in any direction, and discover endless activities and receive missions along the way. Run into other players on the map, or call in a friend when you need an extra set of weapons to take down the deadliest creatures the world has to offer. Here we see the Colossus and Interceptor are opposites in almost every way, making them a great pair in battle. The Colossus is built to be in the middle of the fight, with its heavy weapons and durable shield. Taunting enemies with Battle Cry will keep enemies focused on it. This will allow the Interceptor to charge in and out of the fight, inflicting its melee damage without being attacked. Powers like Wraith Strike will send out a shadow version of the Interceptor, or use the target beacon to mark an enemy, then charge in with the spark dash to finish it off. In Anthem, build your ultimate arsenal of javelins. Head out into the world and unleash your power. Stay tuned for the next installment that shows you the expanding shared world of Anthem and its massive endgame, including a look at our strongholds.